Hey everybody, how are you today? Welcome to Smart Live class. I am your teacher. My name is Mark Roberts. This class is free, uh, free to watch on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday at this time. Uh, we have one, two, three, <laughs> I should know this. We have four other teachers, uh, Nicole, Neil, Josh and Sean, and they teach at different times. Uh, so uh, please check out their classes as well. Now, this class is totally free. Uh, it will always be free uh, to watch on YouTube. If you like what we're doing um, and you want to see uh, us continue doing this, uh, please support us. You can donate. Uh, the link is under the video or you can become uh, a premium subscriber. A premium subscriber, what is that? Well, you guys know I always talk about this, but, uh, but it's very important to us. Um, a premium subscriber, uh, well, they do homework between classes, right? And that's, uh, you know, it's, 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 we, the teachers check the homework and we make videos about the, 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 the mistakes or, or the feedback, and then we, we send it back to the, uh, to the student. So it's, it's not normal homework. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, if you make mistakes, we will explain, uh, we will explain uh, you know, why you're making mistakes and, and how to fix them. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we do quizzes and uh, exams. Uh, also, you can receive a certificate, and uh, and we we're doing video chats every week with all the students in our classes. So it's it's pretty cool. Also, I shouldn't forget you can use Smart. Smart is the website we use uh, to teach English. So if you're interested in becoming a premium subscriber, uh, definitely check out our website http uh, www.smart.me slash smart slash live. Uh, how is the chat this morning? I was busy preparing my class. I see the roses here, Diari's here, French Leo, Carla's here. Steve is here, Steve Lynn, what's up? Milena, Milena, the French Leo. French Leo, are you, are you in France or, or where are you? Where are you? Swati is here again, Pascoa, how are you? Pascoa, uh, Pascoa is my favorite premium subscriber because she always does her homework. Uh, I don't see Ekaterina. I don't see Zara. Dimitri, how's it going? Uh, Stephen Blair's here. Guys, thanks for coming every class. We really, really appreciate it. Please like the video if you can, uh, or if you like the video. Um, share the video uh, on Facebook or, or tell your friends about us. We, we would really appreciate that. We, we, we want to get more viewers, more students to, to make this successful. Uh, French Leo is in uh, Normandy. Normandy. Uh, let's get going. Now, guys, uh, in uh, my last two classes, in my last two classes, uh, we talked about modal verbs. Okay, so two classes ago, we talked. Uh, we talked about. Uh, we talked about s strong uh, words or phrases. We talked about uh, modal. Uh, they're not modal verbs, but modal phrases that express necessity or obligation. Okay, let's stop there. Let's stop there. So two classes ago, we talked about modal phrases. Um, well, actually, somebody's asking me about my Thanksgiving. Well, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Thank God. But I'm Canadian, and uh, our Thanksgiving was in October because we are not, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why our Thanksgiving is in October. But American Thanksgiving was last week. Uh, our Canadian Thanksgiving is in, is in October every year. Because, actually, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why it's different. 
Anyways, um, but thank you for asking me. Um, my Thanksgiving in October was very good. <laughs> in October. Anyways, uh, necessity. Necessity means like you need. You need it. And obligation means you know it's 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 it, you have no choice. You have no choice. Um, so we, we, we talked about these phrases, have to and have got to, must and need to. Um, and I'm going to talk about, today I'm going to review uh, this. I'm going to review this. Hey, Mona. Hey, Noor Noor. Thank you. Um, I'm going to review this. So, you know, a lot of students probably like, oh, I don't want to study the same thing. Trust me, you have to review. You, you have to, you have to. Maybe you must review, or maybe uh, you should review. You should review because, you know, um, I, I know when I study and when I review things, it, it really helps me understand and remember what I learned. Um, so we're going to review that. And also, in my last class, uh, we talked about softer ways, softer softer not as strong so we talked about softer ways uh, to express these things okay softer ways so I'm talking about should ought to and had better and this one gave students a lot of problems uh, had better um, so uh, I would like to today I would like to review these and review these Okay, and uh, and if you guys don't need review, then then uh, just listen, and I, I I think you will. I think it it will help you today. Vivex here. Okay, that means we can start. Thank you, Vivex. I'm joking. Um, so let's go. I, I I like I like Sean's classes. I like his presentations. I think it's it's very nice and clean. So I'm, I'm going to try to start to use presentations more. I, I hope that's OK. And premium subscribers, if I make a presentation, usually I make these, um, I will put the link uh, in my blog, OK? Because it's not in Smart. Uh, I will just put the link in my blog. So today's presentation, I will put on my blog, OK? Pascoa, OK, Mona, OK, who else is in my? Uh, who else, who else do we have right now as premium subscribers? Andre, yeah, I forgot about Andre. Khaled, Ekaterina, Thushara, Anthony, Julnar. Julnar, Julnar thinks I look like this guy. Do you guys think I look like this guy? I'll show you. She thinks I look like, or I, I think it's a she. She thinks I look like this guy. This guy is a very famous comedian. Uh, American comedian. He's super funny, but he, he's a pretty dark comedian. Do you guys think I look like this guy? I don't, I don't see it. I don't think so. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, review, review. Okay. Um, Modals. Now we we talked about what are modal verbs, right? These are auxiliary verbs, right? These are auxiliary. Yeah, or I'm because I'm a little bald, right? Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs. Now don't don't think this is this is yeah yeah skip mark. Come on come on go to the next thing. You guys have to remember this. You have to remember this. They are different from normal verbs. How are they different? How are they different? Well, number one, they don't use an S, right? <laughs> My face is rounder. OK, all right. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. OK. Um, modal verbs don't take an S, right? You guys know that, I think. You know that. So example, he can go to the store. No, 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 no. He, he can go to the store. He can go to the store. You look like a white Homer Simpson. God, you guys are you guys are uh, you guys are mean. I look like a white. Ho well, Homer Simpson is white, so I don't understand. But Homer doesn't have a beard, and Homer is like super bald, and he always wears a white shirt. I don't have a white. Oh, Ekaterina's here. Selma's here. Thank you, Selma. Thank you, Selma. Um, now, guys. 
modal verbs. Modal verbs. Let's go back. Modal verbs. When you make questions, when you make questions, uh, we just change the order, right? She can go. Can she go? Right? She will go. Will she go? She must go. Must she go? Right? She should go. She should go. Going to is not a modal verb. Yeah, that's a, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Now, listen, they are followed directly by the base form of another verb. The base form. So, modal verbs plus the base form. And, you know, you know, students, listen! Because I saw in the homework somebody wrote must to. And that's not, that's breaking the rules. Must to, must to, must to, right? Uh, Dogen, can you remind me later, please? Um, thank you for your question, but I, I just want to, I want to talk about this first, and if we have time later, I will definitely talk about that, okay? But guys, a rule, modal verbs, no to, no to, right? Look, these are all bad. He must goes, no, 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 no. He must going, he must to go, no, no. Must is a modal verb, so that means we must say he must go. Ought to is an exception. Ought to is really strange. Ought to is the only exception. Okay? All right. Other expressions. Other expressions. English has many other expressions. Somebody asked me about be going to, right? Be going to is not a modal. Okay? It's not a modal verb. Here are some other, uh, other expressions. They're similar to modal verbs, but they're not modal verbs. This is the problem students have with the grammar. They don't understand, even, even teachers, they say, oh yeah, this is a modal verb. No, it's not! It's not a modal verb. Okay, so we, we've talked about these ones, right? Need to, have to, have got to. Had better is really, really strange. I, I don't know if we call this a modal verb or not. It's, it's, it's not a modal verb, but I don't really understand why. Um, <laughs> I know I should understand why, but but had better is really really strange, and we we, we will we will review it today. We will review it today. Okay. Now, why are these not modal verbs? Why are these not modal verbs? Okay. Well, you guys tell me in the chat. Why? Wh think about the rules we talked about. We've talked about. Why are these not modal verbs? Remember remember the rules. Remember, modal verbs, no S, right? Also, remember, modal verbs, you just, the, with the question, you just put the modal verb like, she can go, can she go? She will go, will she go? Right? Those are modal verbs. Also, I didn't talk about negatives, negatives. I think I'll talk about that later, but, but negatives. She can go, right? Negative, we just add not. She can not go. She should go. She should not go. Right? Uh, he must go. He must not go. Right? So, so, had, so somebody's, somebody's asking about had better. Had better, yeah, we can say had better not. That's okay. So that's, you know, that's a modal. But we can't say, had better you go? So it's not really a modal verb. <laughs> Do you guys understand? I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I should, I should ask a, a smarter teacher. Maybe Sean knows. So why are these not modal verbs? I asked the chat. Let's look at the answers. OK, well, first of all, thank you, French Leo. French Leo is talking about two. We don't use two with modal verbs. We don't use two. Remember, ought to is the only expression. But I must too? No! I can too? No! So good, excellent. Thank you, French Leo. Um, Maximiliano is, well, Maximiliano, listen, listen. He's asking or she's asking, be going to, is it a modal verb? No, it's not, because we have two. Two, right? 
Also, Diari says we can't we can't invert them to make questions. You know, can she go? Modal verb. Can she go? Right? She will go. Will she go? So I need to go. Need to I go? No. No. I I have to go. Have to I go? No. Or Maximiliano. Be going to. I am going to go. Am going to I go? No. No. <laughs> right? Maximiliano, uh, why do you keep asking me the same question? I've answered it, I don't know, two or three times already. If you, please stop asking me that. Okay? So, okay. <laughs> Finally. Maximiliano says, thanks a lot. Yeah, it's not a modal verb, but I want you guys, does everybody understand why they're not, what's the difference, modal verbs? How, you know, I will go, negative, I will not go. I must go, negative, I must not go. Need to, do we say need, I need to not go? I need to not go? I have to not go? No. 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 I had better Actually, had better not is okay. Remember, I said had better not. Negative. It's like a modal, but but questions. No, it's not like a modal. Okay. Yeah, Dimitri needn't have is pretty. Um, it's more common in British English, and it's not really common. Usually, we say I don't need to. I don't need to. That's okay, Nandish. Yeah, I understand. Lots of people don't have money for to become a premium subscriber that's okay um, so let's just let's just make sure everybody understands this and I'm sorry you know some students really understand this but you know even if you understand this just listen this really you guys you gotta understand the grammar of English I will go it's a modal verb so that means we can say I will not go or will I go right that's a modal verb. You can change will to any modal verb. I must go. I must not go. Must I go? Sorry, this is a question, right? Or what's another modal verb? May go. I may go. I may not go. Right? And the question? May I go? Uh, okay. Uh, let's do one more example. Would go. I would go. I would not go. Whoops. Would I go? Okay. All right. Um, so the other phrases. The other phrases. Um, now, had better. We talked about had better last class. Had better is really strange. Okay, it's not a modal verb. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Look, we can say had better here. I, I had better go. So Rosa, you don't need to. You don't need to. I had better go. I had better not go. That's okay. Don't say, look, 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 look. Don't say I hadn't better. No, 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 no. I had better go. I had better not go. Right? But it's not a modal verb because we can't put it here. Had better I go? No. No. No, no, no. So it had better is not a modal verb. Carla, are you there? Does that make sense to you as, an, as, a, as another teacher, another English teacher? That it, it didn't pass the modal verb test. It didn't pass the modal verb test. Okay, what's Yo Mara? How are you doing, Yo Mara? Comes back, comes back. What's the difference with may and might? What's the difference between may and might? Nothing, not much, really, Yo Mara. Uh, I don't know if you. I'm sure you've studied reported speech, Yo Mara. But when we change, when we when we use reported speech. Uh, we use might, we don't use may, no may, okay? So uh, I may, I may get pizza later. Mark said he might get pizza later. 
But other than that, I always tell my students, God, don't worry about the difference because there's, it's, I don't even know the difference really, right? I may get pizza later. I might get pizza later. I think these are totally the same. I think they're totally the same. I cannot teach without Google Docs. I know, it's like a whiteboard, you know, like a, like a whiteboard. I need a whiteboard. Um, also, Yomer, it's a good question. You know, we use may for permission, like may I sit here? Uh, may I sit here? Or somebody wrote, may I come in? Who was that? Who wrote that? May I come in? Oh, too many comments. Too many comments. I can't find the comment. Somebody wrote that, right? Um, yeah, but I don't think, I don't, I, Diary, I've seen that weaker possibility. I don't, I don't know. I don't really agree with that. Um, May I come here? We, we don't really say might I come in. No, we don't, we don't say that. So we use may for permission. Anyways, I don't really want to talk about this too much. Uh, I, don't, I want to get back to the, the lesson here where we're talking about had better. And so do you guys understand had better is really strange. It's not a modal verb because you can't use it in questions like this. Remember, I can go, I cannot go. And can I go? Can I go? That's a modal verb. OK. Now, in the Facebook group, a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of people, but some people were, were kind of asking me about cannot. My, may I buy a beer for you? No, I don't like beer. I don't like alcohol. I don't like alcohol. Um, uh, just have to remember that that is not place for number two, right? Not place before verb. Not is place before verb, but not before two. Yeah, just after the modal faria, after the modal verb. Okay, but guys, guys, wh what's what's wrong here? What's wrong here? I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna have a sip of my delicious dark roast coffee from Starbucks. What happened there? It moved. Did you guys did you guys press a button? How did that why did it move? That's kind of strange. I can go, I cannot go, can I go? Nobody's commented on this. Okay. Finally, French Leo. Guys, cannot is one word. It's it's it it, it it's it's ninety-nine percent of the time it's one word. Okay. Students I, you know, even even websites say, oh, cannot is okay. Cannot is okay. It's not okay. It's, I don't, I don't, in, in Canada it's not okay. I, maybe in USA it's okay or England. Carla, what do you teach your students? Um, oh, so, Car okay, Carla, Carla's talking about more advanced thing, uh, more advanced rule. I said 99% of the time, not 100% of the time. But, uh, <laughs> Haran Jung, okay, thank you. Um, but Carla, you know, you teach English in Brazil. Do your textbooks say cannot two words is okay? Because it, because cannot, yeah, cannot is not okay in, in Canadian English. Not okay, not okay in Canada. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So Carla is talking about now more advanced, more advanced grammar. We have this phrase in English, not only, and I, me, I think only this phrase you can use cannot as two words. So if you don't understand this sentence, guys, relax. It's, it's more advanced English, okay? And I don't want to talk about advanced English. I'll just give you an example. You cannot only, you cannot only go skiing, but you can also go swimming in the ocean in Vancouver <laughs> in the winter. Maybe it's a little cold, but... Uh, this is really this is really the only time we, we can use cannot as two words. So, you know, I, I even checked this on Google and some websites, like some websites they say cannot or can not. Some websites, see look, look the first thing here. Both cannot and cannot two words are okay. I disagree, I totally disagree. I totally disagree. Uh, even in dictionaries, they say they say that this is okay, but but I disagree. I totally disagree. So maybe it's a Canadian thing or or American thing. Anyways, let's let's stop talking about that. 
This is the modal verb test. This is the modal verb test. Maximiliano was asking me, so let's check. I am going to go. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So can we do this? I am going to not go. Is that okay? Is that okay? Nope. It's not. And is this okay? Am going to I go? Nope. So is it a modal verb? No, it's not. It's not a mod about a mo it's not a modal verb. Sorry, I'm reading Ekaterina's comment because we about what we can, not about what we can. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So you see, do you guys understand the modal verb test? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let's let's go back to this. Okay. Now, how do we use? How do we use phrases that are not modal verbs? These are not modal verbs. Okay, these are not modal verbs. Yeah, okay, Steve. <laughs> okay, let's stop talking about cannot. Just use cannot, one word, okay? All right, all right. Uh, everybody's writing no, 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 no about, about my example before. Okay, so let's look at these four phrases. Uh, actually, let's look at just need to, have to, and have got to right now, okay? Expressing necessity, okay? Necessity. Necessity means something you need. Now, we can use must, have to, need to, or have got to, to say when something is necessary, okay? Do you guys understand necessary? Necessary means need, okay? Now, really, kind of in English, now, you know, must, have to, need to, or have got to, they kind of have the same meaning, okay? Um, before we continue, I just want to make sure that you guys all understand necessity. What are some other ways to say necessity? What are, you know, I just want to make sure that you guys understand the meaning, okay? Necessity. What are, what are, what are some other ways we can say necessity? Well, what about, what about responsibility? I'm going, I'm going not to go there. Is it also wrong sentence? Yeah, it's totally wrong. It's totally wrong. Totally wrong. Okay, necessity. Responsibility. What are, what's what's another way to what's another way to say that? Necessity, responsibility. Do you guys know this word? Obligation. Oblig. Oh, Carla, <laughs> I beat you, Carla. Obligation. Necessity, responsibility, obligation. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? Something is mandatory. Mandatory. Ah. Okay. So knowledge is something is important. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, Rosa, I know we're we're talking we're going to answer your questions now, okay? Essential. Yeah, okay. So all these things, all these words, maybe you understand some of these words. That's okay. Maybe you don't understand some of these words. That, that's okay. That's okay. They're all really kind of the same meaning. Okay? I mean, they're not the same meaning, but the same idea. The same idea, okay? So, we use we use these words. Now, must is a modal verb. Have to is not. Need to is not. Have got to is not a modal verb. But we use these to talk about that meaning. Yeah, faria, compulsory. Thank you. No, Kamal, it's not. No, possibility is a different meaning. Different meaning. Okay. But yeah, essential. Very good, faria. Okay. Now, listen. Now, here we go. Rosa, listen, because this is your question. Usually when I say must or have to or need to or have got to, it usually means I don't have a choice. I must go. That means I, I have no choice. Right? I have no choice. No, Maximiliano, no, request is different. Is requ request is different. Okay? But do you guys understand when we use must or have to, need to or have got to, really it's kind of like I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Okay, and last class we talked about should and ought to and had better, and and and, and should and ought to is is not very strong. It usually means yeah, you can choose, you can choose. It's your choice. But these words mean no, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Okay. Uh, I don't understand your question, Rosa. Write your question another way. Compulsory, mandatory, yeah, same things, Maximiliano. Okay, so I must do my homework. 
I have to do my homework. I need to do my homework. I have got to do my homework. We talked about all, we talked about this all two 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 classes ago, right? These are all similar meaning. Okay, they're all almost the same meaning. I don't have a choice, right? It's a necessity. It's an obligation. It's mandatory. It's compulsory for me to do my homework. I don't have a choice. Okay, <laughs> all right, now, do we understand, everybody understands that really these are kind of the same meaning? Everybody understands that? Let me know in the chat, let me know in the chat because now we understand the meaning. So now let's look at the grammar again, okay, the grammar again. Let's talk about how do we make these sentences negative? How do we make these sentences questions? Because this one, is a modal verb and these ones are not modal verbs so the grammar is different okay the grammar is different all right what does obligation mean it just means something that you have to do <sighs> it's uh, they're all the same meaning don't ask me the different meanings right is obligation stronger than necessity i don't know i don't know how to answer that question <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosa. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Obligation stronger than necessity? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about that, Rosa. Stop worrying about that. Okay. You guys are thinking too much right now. You guys, these things. Don't ask me compulsory, mandatory, essential, obligation, necessity. Don't ask me these things. Just understand, we use these words, these phrases to say we don't have a choice. Okay? I have no choice. Right? I must do my homework. I have to do my homework. I need to do my homework. I have got to do my homework. Okay, Rosa? That's all you need to know. Okay, stop, stop thinking about, oh, uh, maybe this one is for this and this one is for this. No, we're going to talk about that very soon. But right now, let's just think about the grammar a little bit. Okay, be careful of the differences in form. The grammar is different. Here we go. I must do my homework. Now, must, how do you say must as a negative sentence? Well, remember, must is a modal verb. So I will go negative, I, we just add not to the helping verb, right? We add not to the helping verb. So I will not go. I can go, I cannot go. So I must do my homework. How do you, how do you say the negative for this? Well, you say I must not do my homework. And the, the contraction is mustn't, mustn't. The T is silent. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have to do my homework. Now this is not a modal verb. So we can't just add not. We can't. Okay, English, if you want to make a negative sentence, you must add not to a helping verb. Okay, modal verbs are helping verbs. But here, we don't have a modal verb, we don't have a helping verb. So what do we do, guys? I do not have to do my homework. I do not. And I always tell my students, it's like, I have a sister. I do not have a brother, right? Same thing, I have to do my homework. I do not have to do my homework. He is not a modal verb, so we can just... Remember, modal verb, no S. But this is not a modal verb. So he has to do his homework. He doesn't have to do his homework. Okay, need to is exactly the same as have to. It's 100% the same. I need, I have. So I need to do my homework. I do not need to. Okay, my, my intern, I think we're back now. Yeah, I think we're back. Sorry, guys, we, 
you know, uh, our internet is super good, but recently we've been having problems. And it's, yeah, just so, for some reason, it just stops. I don't know what's going on. What is going on? But now it's okay. Hopefully it will, it will, uh, it will continue to be okay. So need to, have to, totally the same. Now have got to. Now have, no, <laughs> we don't, we didn't pay for the internet. Thank you, painkiller. Um, I, 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 trust me, we do pay for the internet, yeah. We, we use the money for the, the premium subscribers and, and the donations to pay the internet bill. And uh, yeah, it's usually very good, but recently it's just stopped. Anyways, have got to. This is not a modal verb, but actually in this sentence, have is a helping verb. So remember the rule, add not to a helping verb. So I have got to do my homework. I have not. I haven't got to do. Oh, Sorry guys, forget the need. I made a mistake there. That should be got. I'm sorry about that. Let me fix that. Okay, got to do my homework. I have not got to do my homework. Now, we've talked about this a lot in Smart Live class. Have got, have is a helping verb. So negative, we say I have not. Let's just go back a little bit to have to. This is not a helping verb, so we need do not, do not, okay? That's the reason. This is not a helping verb, but in have got, have is a helping verb. I have not got to do my homework. Okay, good. Now let's look at questions. Remember, must is a modal verb, so questions with modal verbs are super easy. I can go. Can I go? I should go. Should I go? I must do. Must I do my homework? Must I do my homework? Okay, I have to do my homework. Here, we don't have a helping verb, so we must use a helping verb. Do I have to do my homework? Do I have to do my homework? Rosa, that sentence is terrible grammar. <laughs> I don't have got to do. No, 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 no. No. Are you? Are, do you know that's bad grammar? Maybe you know that's bad grammar. Okay. Need to do my homework. We don't have a helping verb, so we must put a helping verb here. Do I need to do my homework? Do I need to do my homework? And then finally, have got to. And have is a helping verb, so we say the helping verb first. Have I got to do my homework? Have I got to do my homework? Good. Remember, have to, need to, have got to, and must all mean that something is necessary to do. Okay, now let's talk about, let's talk about the differences. Here we go. Here we go. Must is usually stronger. Okay. Now, Sometimes we, we use must because we want to express urgency. Urgency is like, you know, it, it's very, 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 very important. And you, you must do this soon, right now. That's called urgency, okay? Maybe there's a problem and we have, we, we have to fix the problem right now. Well, maybe if I want to say, guys, this is super, 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 super important, we say must. Okay? All right? Now, the biggest, uh, the biggest difference, guys, listen, 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 listen. The biggest difference between must and the other ones, listen, must comes from here. Sorry, I'm tapping my microphone. Must comes from here. Okay, what am I? What am I touching? Am I touching my shirt? No. What am I? T what am I talking about? Must comes from the heart. Okay, must comes from the heart. It comes from inside. Okay, look, the obligation. 
comes from inside. Okay? If I say, listen, if I say must, that means I decided. I decided the obligation. I decided the necessary thing. It comes from inside me. Okay? It comes from my heart. It comes from, you know, whatever, my brain. I decide it. So if I say, hey guys, guys, you must listen. Who said must? Mark. That means Mark decided that listen is important. And Mark, this is really important to Mark. Mark really feels this from inside. Mark decided the obligation. Okay? Does that make sense? So if I say, I must, blah, 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 that means I decided it. I, I decided it. The obligation, I made it. It's important to me. Okay? Now, this is a big problem because students say must, like right now, Vivek, I don't think that's really good English. All right? Students use must too much. Okay? Did you guys understand what I just said? Students use must too much. Okay? We, we English speakers save must. We save it only for super important things. Do you understand what I... What I yeah, Jamil... Uh, Look at Jamil's sentence. What's the mistake? What's the mistake? Okay. We'll talk about that French layout. Please remind me, okay? But guys, you use must too much. Students, no, Nandish, no, no. Okay, I must eat pizza. That, that's kind of strange, okay? It's kind of strange. You must hear that. No, it's kind of strange. Okay? We only use must for things that we want to say it's really, 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 really important. And it comes from my heart. Usually, we don't use must. Usually, we use have to, need to, or have got to. Okay? Because things in life that we have no choice usually don't come from inside. Usually they come from outside. Now what do I mean by that? Inside or outside? Okay. Well, inside means I decide it, but outside means the world decides the obligation. The world decides that I have no choice. The world decides this. Right? So what's, what's it, what, what, what am I talking about? Well, outside, outside. Okay. Well, you guys, you guys let me know. What are some examples of outside obligations? Something I, I don't decide. Something that the world decides for me. Okay. So an example of this would be school or work, okay? If, if premium subscribers, if I, Pascoa, if I, if I give you homework, if I give you homework, that obligation, that, that, that thing, that important thing didn't come from your heart, it didn't come from inside, it came from your crazy English teacher. Right? The, the obligation came from outside. It came from your teacher. Right? So, Pascoa, if you're there, what could you say? Here, Pascoa, here, please, please do this homework and please share it with me. Or Ekaterina, uh, you know, here, here's some homework. Or, or Zara, or, or, or Elena, or Khaled, or 
you know, anybody in my, I'll give you guys homework. If I give you homework, what, what should you say? What are you doing tonight? Are you busy tonight? Yes, you are. You are busy tonight. Why? Why? Why are you busy? I must do homework? No. No, 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 no. Because must, I must do homework means it's super important to the speaker. And the speaker decided it's important. The speaker decided that there's no choice. Right? <laughs> now, right, okay, Ekaterina is very, very strange. But hold on, Ekaterina, we'll, we'll talk about that. That's a really good example. But I think maybe Pasco is maybe in the washroom or say, something, okay? But, right, okay, Noor, Noor, thank you, okay? But usually, what do, usually, students say, do, 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 do. I have to do homework, or I need to do homework, or I have got to do homework. Okay. Percy Nyamfutu, you're in my class already, but you have to use the Gmail address. You guys are, you guys all have these different email addresses. Sorry, I just want to check this because I this per Nyamfuti at right. Use your Google Mail. Email me if you're having problems, okay? Because I have these premium subscribers and they never, they never do their homework because maybe they, they can't sign in. So email me, okay? Email me and tell me what is, your, what is your Google email address. Okay, let's get back, right? Sorry, I just wanted, there's a premium subscriber. I needed to help there. I needed to help. Okay. Usually students say this, right? Because homework comes from the stupid teacher, the stupid school, the st uh, homework. Uh. But crazy students, crazy students like Ekaterina say, I must do homework. Thank you, Ekaterina. I know you're not crazy. I'm just joking. But what's the difference? Right? If Pascoa says this, Pascoa I know this is this is not true because Pascoa is crazy too. But if if Pascoa says that and Ekaterina says this, what's the difference between Pascoa and Ekaterina? What's the difference? What's the difference? This is really important, okay? And you guys you guys should understand the difference now. Ekaterina says I must do homework. But Pascoa says, oh, I need to do homework. I, I have to do homework. I've got to do homework. What's the difference in meaning here? What, what, do, we, what, what do we know about Pascoa? What do we know about Ekaterina? Right? No, Vivek, you're not, you're not, you're still making mistakes. Right? You're still making mistakes. Must is not correct in your sentence. You guys use must too much, too much. Yeah, but but Marcelo, I think Pascoa thinks this is her duty too, right? But both Ekaterina and Pascoa have no choice. They will do homework, right? Yes, Pascoa says must is stronger, but I want you guys to stop saying that must is stronger. I want you to think about why is it stronger? Why is it stronger? Where did the obligation come from? No, you guys are still not listening. You guys, you guys, I, I still see lots of mistakes in the chat. I said, think about where does the obligation come from? Okay, okay, Hussam, very good. Yeah, I don't know if I have time for that, Dogen. I, I don't want to change the subject, really. Uh, be able to or, or could. Uh, maybe for a different time. I'm sorry, Dogen. I, I just don't have time. I, I don't want to start talking about that now. No, 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 no. 
Okay, look at Rose's comment, or Yomera, or Stephen Blair. Thank you, guys. Pascoa says this. That means she didn't decide this. It's not really important to her. I mean, it, maybe it's important, but she didn't decide the obligation. Pascoa is saying that this do homework didn't come from her. It came from outside. It came from her teacher, right? But this one means Ekaterina is crazy. She loves homework. It's really, 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 really important to her. Not to Mark, not to school, right? It's important to her. This one doesn't mean it's important to Pascoa. It just means, ah, this, it, it, it's, it's life. You know, life, we, we, we have to do things. We've got to do things. We have no choice. We don't decide these things, right? But sometimes we do decide these things because they're important to us. If they're important to you, you say must. Do you understand, Vivek, what? Uh, I don't know what, Vivek, I don't know what talak is, I'm sorry, right? Okay, so, okay, so let's help Vivek a little bit because Vivek is using must way too much. Do you guys understand, you know, you know, must, you, students use must. Do you understand now why students use must too much, too often? Do you guys understand why that's a problem? Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, maybe, Yomara, yeah. The fo okay, let's look at Carla's example. The, the phone is ringing. I something get it. Now, <laughs> focus is gone. Okay. Um, before we look at before we look at Carla's example, let's look at v Vivek's ex example. Okay. Sometimes both are okay. Sometimes both are okay, but uh, remember, must is, is special. It's special. Okay, the phone is ringing, Carla. I, now, should we use must or have to, have got to, or need to? What do you think? Well, knowledge is free. Here are your other choices. You're asking me, are there any other choices? Yeah, don't use must. Use, use, use the other choices if it's not super important. Okay, think about this sentence. Now, where does the obligation come from? Right? But Stephen, where does that obligation come from? Stephen's talking about my car is very old. I did, 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 did get a new one. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah. Yo Mara lives in California, and look at her comment, guys. It's very, very, um, very. Thank you, Yo Mara. I'm telling you guys that you guys say must too often. And Yomara lives in USA, and she just said, look, thank you, Yomara, I love you. Please come to class every Tuesday and Friday. Class is always better with you. Look, this is what, sorry. Um, Yomara just wrote this. I don't hear Americans use much often. Thank you. Right. Yomara lives in USA and she doesn't hear Americans say this word. It's true, right? That's what I'm saying. Do you hear have to? Do you hear need to? Do you hear got to? Yomara? Right? Must is special. We should save it. Save it. Okay? Save it just for really special things. Okay? Because it comes from inside. 
So let's go back to our examples. The phone is ringing. Well, where does the obligation come from? I think the obligation comes from the phone. Right? Ah, oh, the phone. Ugh. No choice, right? I think I think the, the best answer is this one. Right? Because this is not a this is not an important thing. Right? Okay, Carla, that that's a different meaning of must, and we're not talking about uh, probability or anything. We're talking about uh, we're talking about obligation, necessity, things that are important. Guys, Carla has a Carla has a good point. Um, you know, modal verbs. It's an important thing, but you know, modal verbs like must usually have more than one meaning. So yeah, um, you know, we could continue talking about this uh, forever, really, modal verbs. But you know, sometimes we say it must be mark, and this is a very different meaning. It must be Mark. And we'll, we'll talk about this meaning later. But it's not really a good idea to study the different meanings at the same time. It, 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 you get confused. OK, so I have to get it. OK, maybe, maybe my boss is calling me. Maybe my wife is calling me. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the police are calling. I don't know. But the obligation comes from them. It doesn't come from me. OK. All right. Um, now let's look at Stephen Blair's example. Stephen Blair. My car is very old. I something get a new one. Right? My car is very old. OK, I must get a new one. That means, that means you decided the obligation. It's super important. It comes from your heart. But you're talking about a car, right? You're talking about a car, which is kind of strange, right? Maybe, why, why, why do you have to get a new car? Because your car is terrible. Your, your, your car right now is old and it's bad. And this, the obligation comes from this. It doesn't come from your heart. It doesn't come from inside. It comes from outside. It comes from your, 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 your crazy, it comes from your crazy, uh, your, your, your terrible car, right? So I think. I have to, or I have got to, or I need to, is more common, Steve. Okay, must, must. It's 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 very important uh, personally. Okay, and I think you know must has a very strong meaning, and I think this sentence is not very serious. You're just talking about a car. Okay, now, okay, now look at Carla's awesome example. Okay, guys, look at look at me. My car is really old and dangerous. I just had a baby, so I get a new car because because my car is too dangerous. Now a little bit different. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. You don't take a divorce, Vivek. You don't take a divorce. You get divorced. Okay? You don't take a divorce. Take is this this meaning. Take. You don't take a divorce. You get divorced. Okay? Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs. Okay? But modal verbs, usually auxiliary verbs, we have three main ones, OK? Be, do, and have, OK? But modal verbs are auxiliary verbs. But they have, sorry, I don't need a comma here. But they have special meanings, OK? So if I say modal verb, you guys should understand, yeah, modal verb is an auxiliary verb, OK? Yeah, good question, Kamal. Good question. Kamal, sorry, Kamal. 
You see, guys, you see the difference, Stephen Blair? Do you understand? I hope you understand, right? This one, this one, the obligation kind of comes from my heart because I'm worried about, about my baby, right? So the obligation comes from my heart. This one, I think the obligation just comes from my stupid car, right? The obligation comes from outside. But this one, it comes from inside. It comes from inside. OK, guys, um, it's 10 o'clock. I think we'll stop there. I think we'll continue this uh, on Friday. We'll continue talking about this on Friday. Because I, you know, honestly, I, I thought, I thought, um, yeah, I, you know, usually in my experience, students uh, learn quickly the difference between have to or must. But I teach students in Canada, so maybe they they can hear that must is not very popular. Okay, so maybe that's the reason. Remember, must is not very popular. It's special. We, we save it only for special things. OK? So um, if that's OK with you guys, if you guys are tired of this, let me know in the YouTube comments, OK? If you're tired talking about this grammar, let me know. But I'm really interested, I'm really interested in, in, in making sure that you guys understand the grammar 100%. Because really, we don't. We don't have we don't have to hurry, right? So if you guys are a little unsure about something, you know, the, the, especially the students that come every class, if you're a little unsure about this, then let's just let's continue talking about it next class, right? Well, there's no rush. Um, but yeah, let me know in the YouTube comments, guys. If you're tired of this, you know, let's study something else. Let me know. That's okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> Friday or Saturday, because December 3rd is Saturday. Uh, oh, really? Did I make a mistake on the dates? God, that's important, Rosa. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Did I make a mistake? Oh, so, so this should be, uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you, Rosa. Rosa, I love you. Thank you so much. I made a mistake. <laughs> I should check that. So on Friday, on Friday, yeah. This week, uh, Thanksgiving's finished, so all our classes are at the normal time. And I haven't put it on YouTube yet, but Sean is doing a class on Thursday. Uh, yeah, the donation links are the same, totally the same. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, if you guys, you know, if, if, if you guys, you know, <laughs> I know it's, it's I, 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 I'm like a salesperson, but um, yeah, it isn't free for us to do this. So we, we, we hope, if you can, I mean, of course, many students are living, you know, uh, they have no money. I understand that. So if you don't have money, no problem. But if you can, please donate or become a premium subscriber to help us. Um, because, you know, we, we need the support. And, you know, maybe we're going to have to buy, <laughs> get a new internet plan now. I thought our internet was really good, but it crashed again today. So. OK, so we will, uh, we will continue. Um, no problem, Chari. It's good to see you. And I, I, I see that you go to jo uh, Josh's classes a lot. So yeah, guys, check out our other classes. Um, check out our other classes. Uh, Nicole's class is getting popular. Neil's class, Josh's class, of course, Sean's class. Um, yeah, we're starting to. Yeah, we're starting to get better at this, right? It, it's really, really difficult for teachers to teach to a camera. It's really strange. Usually we teach to, to students, right? And, and, and we, we can see they understand or they don't understand. But right now I'm in a room by myself with a camera and some lights. And uh, it's, it's, it, it takes some time. So Nicole and Josh and Neil, yeah, they, they started doing it about two months ago. And now they're really, really good at it. Of course, Sean started this. And he's the best at this. So check out Sean's classes at this time on Thursday. Uh, premium subscribers, don't forget, tomorrow is our weekly chat. So remember, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you the link at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. OK? Uh, d -d 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 premium subscri subscribers, also check the blog. I'll, I'll put some homework information there for you today. 
Also, I'm going to check uh, your homework after class today. Uh, so I will send you an email uh, today. Guys, thank you, as always. Uh, thank you for joining this class every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, please click like uh, if you like the video. Please share it. Please tell your friends about Smart Live Class. We really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. See you on Friday.